नमस्कार दिस इज डॉक्टर हेमा दिवाकर वेलकमिंग यू टू डायलॉग विद दिवाकर्स आई एम अ सीनियर कंसल्टेंट ऑब्सिटीशन एंड गायनोकोलॉजिस्ट एट द दिवाकर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल जे पी नगर बेंगलुरु लेट्स डायलॉग अबाउट द पिल द मिनी पिल द इमरजेंसी पिल द रेगुलर ओरल कॉन्ट्रसेप्टिव पिल द मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ चिल पिल्स दैट यू वुड हैव हर्ड अबाउट well each one of them are safe in today's new kind of development in the pill market the awareness that you will need is about the oral contraceptive pill which is given either prior to pregnancy when you're just married or about to be married or you want to delay the pregnancy for your career or your studies for about a year or two years or three years it can also be given soon after your delivery that's called the mini pill or the progesterone only pill it's a one a day until you resume your menses so you will not have a chance of getting pregnant again there could be an emergency contraceptive pill that is unintended or unexpected situation where you are suspecting that you can get pregnant after intercourse this has to be typically taken it's called the morning after pill so within 24 to 48 hours which would have the same contraceptive effect it is a simple thing to do to take any of these pills on your doctor's advice of course this is available over the counter so you can go and buy it directly the new generation pill just like the 2g 3g 4g the newer generation of mobile phones you have now the 5g or the fifth generation pills which are very very low dose and very very effective the concept is that we have kept the lowest possible dose to have the maximum effect but we have eliminated all the side effects with the new generation pill you will neither have a weight gain nor acne nor mood disturbance nor gastritis but the only problem with the pill is that you've got to remember to take it every single day as per your doctor's instruction so next time that you want to seek advice for contraception do not fail to get all your myths and misconceptions clarified from your doctor they are safe they are efficacious but the responsibility and the discipline of taking the pill entirely rests on your shoulder you want your next pregnancy only after about 3 years or so and you go and ask your doctor for a variety of contraception that is available and when the doctor suggests to you either the condom or the pill or the copity you proactively ask her can you take an injection once in 2 months or once in 3 months you have heard that this is effective and this is safe well there are like two sides of the coin both the pluses and minuses of this injection essentially this injection is very safe and efficacious in the contraceptive effect the small disadvantage of the injection is that it sometimes causes a lot of irregularities in your menstrual cycles and once you've taken the first dose of the injection the effect lasts for 3 months so whatever the pattern is you have to have the mindset that you will live with it and you will adjust with it for the first couple of months when you're taking these injections and if that's okay with you please go ahead and avail of once in 2 months or once in 3 months injection it avoids the problem of remembering and taking for example a pill every day or it also avoids the uses of the barrier such as the condom because once if it's used improperly or if you forget to use that can again lead to failure so injectable contraception is essentially a good method but it has small disadvantages if you are aware of and if you are having the mindset of accepting these disadvantages it's one of the best things for you when the doctor wants to discuss the condom issue with you you say that you know all about it because you have used it before and right out of the counter in a variety of medical stores or the grocery shops and you really need no extra bit of information well this is a new introduction of what is called the female condom condom which is a barrier which can be used by the female partner well in this social scenario often times a female cannot either convince or request the male partner to use a condom 
but it is very very important to have a barrier for infections against what we call the STDs or sexually transmitted diseases. So this is an additional protective effect that the condoms do offer beyond the realm of contraception. So the female condom is quite simple to use. It's just like inserting a tampon to be used at the time of intercourse by the female partner. It protects you against infection. It protects you against unwanted pregnancy. It is pretty much efficacious because it has only a 5% failure rate and of course it is very very safe. So next time you go to your doctor and you want to know more about the new introduction in the sphere of avoiding an unwanted pregnancy for contraception, do ask more information about the female condom.